Hey guys, Cal here. In my latest video, for some reason, the audio and the visual isn't synced up properly. Now I've done what I can to try and fix it. Uh, the Scented Soldier also offered to uh, take the uh, file and fix it for me. Really don't have the time for that right now, so I'm gonna do what I can with it. With but I just don't have the time, so it's either. It might be a very annoying video to watch, so I do apologize for it. It's out of sync by a couple seconds, like I said, I'm going to try and adjust as best I can, but just a heads up, guys. It might be like watching a movie with uh, subtitles in uh, English overdubs. So, anyway, guys, thanks for understanding. Two years of chemistry in high school, but I don't remember anything about it. Certain scent notes, certain ingredients that a nurse may want to use have are known to be skin irritants. Um, there isn't one size fits all. Some people may have issues, other people may not. This is one that has been known to give problems for people. So I've been wanting to give this a try. I got this on loan from a buddy of mine. We'll give this a try. And secondly, my birthday weekend and any wet shaven enthusiast wants to have his own date code. So. I don't know if I've ever used this phrase or not, but we'll be giving this a try. So let's give this a go. Good afternoon, wet shaving enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome to the rabbit hole with Kel Shaves. You know, my channel has never been and will never be about shitting on artisans. Uh, I am not a soap maker at all. It's not my thing. I'd love to learn how to do it, but it's really not something I understand much about. Certain products have been known to give problems, and this is one that uh, has been notorious for it. This is Talon and Steel Merchandise 7X. Um, this was given to me on loan from my buddy Nick Simpson. I've been wanting to give this a try. Um, again, I did an unofficial poll on Canadian West Shavers on Facebook and about half the guys that use it had a skin reaction. Uh, they might get red faced or whatever. Um, some irritation. It's a little complex in the scent for me. Again, my goal is never to crap on anyone for their craftsmanship. Um, I think the guys that do it are just amazing people. Guys and gals. So, but we're going to be giving this a go. We'll be giving it a try. Uh, secondly, as I said, anyone who's been in the West Shaven for a little while, who's not nostalgic about it, if they can, they want to get a razor in their own day code. And I just had my day code a few days ago. I turned 45 on Friday. So, according to the Razor Emporium website, who's got a great table with all the day codes and serial numbers for Jill Life products, I will post a link. And uh, I'll also post a link to the video um, that Matt Basarsic does explaining that stuff. But my Black Beauty V2 1975. If you can see that, you'll see that there's a V and there's a 2. So it'll be the second quarter of 1975. This is the 109, the long handled. I've got a used wash cut in there, probably two or three uses on it. And I'm going, this is a nine setting. I got this on eBay uh, a couple years ago. Um, got a fair bit of growth to go through, but I'm going to set this uh, about middle. Um, so we're just gonna open up our barn doors a little bit. Set it on four. Let's see how it does. Actually dial it to five, see how it does. This really isn't so much of a review of this video. It's just a fun video. Um, kind of in a rush. Uh, I'm going to go trucking again tomorrow. You guys will not see this video until probably next Sunday. And it'll be probably in conjunction with my giveaway video. But we're going to give this a try. We're also going to be using the new Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Peregrino. Uh, first use. Actually, I just picked this up the other day. Cut in the mail. Again, not really reviewing it. I'm going to give a more in-depth review of that another time. But it is a synthetic 24 millimeter, 56 millimeter loft. Uh, I wrote notes down because, as you guys know, I have a very short memory. This has got a weight of uh, 
4.3 ounces or 122 grams. And I noticed right away, as soon as I picked it up, it was quite very solid. So, and again, I think we're gonna keep the commentary fairly short. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a, you know, a huge amount of time with edits and all that. Uh, so we're gonna get this built up. Uh, and again, I just did a quick reference on this. I uh, looked it up online. I guess the scent on this is based on an Atlanta uh, pharmacist who came back from the Civil War with a morphine addiction. So he came up with a concoction to help with his morphine addiction. And I guess actually the story was appeared on an American radio show, This American Life, according to one of the sites I was looking at online. And uh, it's really interesting. And I guess, like I said, this ultimately, I guess, became the uh, flavor formula for what is now Coca-Cola. And like I said, again, it goes into the uh, different scents. And again, I've got them listed here to keep track. Uh, scents on it of, in this particular soap, uh, lemon orange vanilla which was apparently not in his original concoction nutmeg neroli cinnamon and coriander now with regard to skin irritants um from what i can understand of it cinnamon is known to be a skin irritant some artisans will not use it although guys like myself love the scent of it it does cause problems so that's why they don't use it uh, clove is another one. I know companies such as Phoenix Artisan that do not, they will specify that their scents are clove free because it is an irritant. Um, also, you guys have heard me talk about it. Thirsty, thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. That um, I'm a huge citrus fan. And unfortunately, there are guidelines, I guess there aren't really rules and regulations, but it's guidelines as to safe levels of some of these various compounds that you can use, or that, you know, should be abided by, you know. No artisan wants to get a reputation for, you know, having skin reactions. That's, you know, they're out there to push, to promote a, a safe and wonderful product to use. So citruses, you know, I'm never going to be able to get them in a, a scent strength that I'm happy with just because they're such an irritant. Again, I'm a truck driver, not a, fit, not a chemist, I'm definitely not a soap maker, you know, it's not my uh, forte. So this is stuff I've kind of learned and heard about talking to various people. So like I said, we're going to give this a try. See what it does. Now, if this is based what uh, Coca-Cola, I don't smell that. I I don't get the Coca-Cola scent out of this. One thing, like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with tallow and steel. I find, and again, this is just my own opinion. This is not crapping on anyone. I find some artisans their scents tend to be too complex for me. I know some, you know, it's a very individualistic thing. Some guys like very complex scents. I don't really care for huge complex scents with a lot of different scent notes. Uh, for lack of a better description, I find some of them to be kind of muddy for me. One thing I will say is I got a huge load on this soap and it's just making an amazing lather. I have not watched any reviews online yet of either the soap or this brush. When I did post a pic of this brush, I know a number of the guys posted that it's a fantastic brush. They're really enjoying using it. I say just getting our scent, getting our lather. Seems to be no problem with the water. I think that'll be good to go. 
Now, the mustache is starting to get out of hand, so I need to go online and watch some YouTube videos about how to tidy this up. I've been using mustache wax on it for several months. Uh, one that uh, I'm really liking is uh, Red Engine Co. from British Columbia, Canada. Really like their mustache wax. But I'm not sure how to trim this up and tidy it up. So that'll be uh, something that I need to learn how to do and then I can post a video about it. So. I don't know if I have skin sensitivities or not. I've never used a soap that I really had an issue with. And like I said, this is not about crapping on the artisan whatsoever. It's just, you know, doing a comparison, see how, uh, how it works for me. I love the lather on it so far. From what I can understand, the reaction that the guys are getting, like I said, there's, it turns their skin red or whatever. It seems to go away fairly quickly. Um, I'm not, I don't remember if I saw them talking about a bit of a burning sensation or not. So we are going to find out. So I'm going to give this first pass. Like I said, Black Beauty, 109. 109 millimeters, if I remember correctly, the handle length. I don't know if I've ever used this radio or not. I want to do the shade because, like I said, this soap belongs to my buddy Nick Simpson and he wants it back. I don't remember what his, if he had a reaction to it or not. I do not remember. But he loaned it to me several months ago and it's time to give it back. I do like this. Um, I do find it mild, the way on five, so I am going to dial it up. Let's take it up to, let's go on seven. Again, you guys know me, um, Bosch cuts are my favorite blade. I do use Feather once in a great while, but it's not my go-to. It's, uh, yeah, it's just not my blade. But. I like this is nice, and so far, I'm not getting the irritation that other guys seem to talk about so far. So, the scent isn't bad. Like I said, I definitely don't get Coca Cola out of this at all. Um, it's not for me, but yeah, you know, no irritation so far. liking this brush so far. I will do a much more detailed video of it another time. I will say the weight on it is quite surprising. Now, it 
Doug Smythe does offer four other brushes in this series, and I have three of them, which I've talked about in the other videos as well. The Atomic Rocket, which is a mass of 26. The Starcraft, the uh, Green Ray Tribble. Love the colors. Like I said, it is based on uh, a vintage. I believe it's called uh, 500E. I will post the details in it. Yeah, since not bad. Of course, we're going to find out if it'll pass the girlfriend test after. Uh, we're going to go against the green. Or across, rather. Not being really familiar with Talon Steel, uh, I may have done another video, I don't remember using one of their soaps. I love their labels, their labels are spot on. I've had the Madagascar, the Sicily, the Morocco, oh, a couple of others I think. Well, it feels good. Even doing uh, razor buffering or buffing doesn't seem to be causing any irritation. Now the handle might be back on just a little bit. Yeah, I like this much better on number seven. Like I said, I'm not a daily shaver. If I was, I would definitely have, uh, I definitely wouldn't be using it. But yeah, for any of us that, like I said, are collectors, that are enthusiasts, and I don't recall exactly, but uh, they stopped using date codes um, and uh, serial numbers from about, I think it was about 1932 or so, again until 1951. Um, and that's when they introduced the super speed. I believe it had a day code starting with a W. And actually, one of the first razors I, I bought was, I think, a 1951 or a 52 super speed. Got that from uh, an antique store. And that actually started, really kind of got me into this that and another antique store where I ended up getting it turned out to be a 1912 three piece open comb. I will do a video another time that'll be just talking about the history and then you know getting into enthusiastic about it and you know my journey into this. really liking this brush. I believe Doug is selling it for about $16.95 US on his website and of course I will post links and do a much more detailed shave later. You don't spend a lot of time lathering, but this is so much fun. Just grab a bit of water. And either I super loaded this brush, just that soap goes that well. I may have to revisit Tallow and Steel.
Well, this is a literally tunnel of steel. Go figure. It is a tunnel based silk. And I will listen to it in some edits. Really liking the slickness of it. I mean, if it's going to give me any irritation, I'm giving it every chance to do that. So, third pass against the grain. Again, wash cut, and this is set on. Seven. It goes up to nine. Then at the black beauties. This is the one on nine, so if I remember correctly, it's 109 millimeters, which would be about a four inch. And they also made, I believe it was what, an 88? I don't recall exactly, but it would have been the uh, 84. So that would have been the 3 inch channel, which I would have preferred. I prefer the shoulder handle. Which is a scratch I had on there for a Quite a heavy razor. But it is very cool to have a razor that was made within 90 days of the day you were born. So I love that. Um, this is another razor that'll be. Uh, a permanent part of my den. I will never get rid of it. Yeah, I want to go with the FS. It's not uh, baby butt smooth, but again, a lot of time I don't even bother yeah, with that anymore. Get her all rinsed out, and again, I'm still not seeing any irritation. Okay, I didn't get very well there, but we've been like down here. But I'm not getting into that red skin the guys talk about. Again, maybe if I was a daily shaver, my skin would react differently, but uh, where well, I don't. So, I'm gonna run across it with the album. I think it's the soap that seems to be giving guys the problem. I'm not exactly sure if it's also the splash, but we are going to find out here. Minor bit of burn on my neck, but nothing that's uh, unusual at all. Let that sit on there for a sec. And by the way guys, um, as you may know, I'm offering a giveaway. Uh, our draw will be taking place um, by the time you guys see this, it'll be later today. Uh, May the 24th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I will post a link on one of these sides for that video. But uh, So your time is running out, you want to get that uh, in quickly. But um, yeah, please enter, I get a chance to win. Uh, a razor stand and a brush handle from Opus or shaving brushes. So. so, matching aftershave. This is 
which is a beast. The scent's starting to grow on me. It's got a brownish color to it. Very soothing. And we'll see if that gives me any irritation. I don't know if the girlfriend's gonna like this scent or not. I don't think it's gonna be one of her tops. But I think based on performance of Tallow and Steel, I need to go, like I said, give this another try. A scents can be very polarizing. Certain scents I definitely don't like, and like I said again, I'm not one for heavily complex scents. Um, and I've found that in my limited experience with Talon Steel, they tend to be a very complex scent that uh, just doesn't uh, necessarily appeal to me. And again, you're not gonna have one size fits all. That's why there's so many different scents out there. Uh, you know, uh, ingredient list configurations. But, uh, yeah. I'm mean, gonna see a red line here, here, but that's not from this. That's I use. I have sleep apnea, severe sleep apnea. I use the CPAP machine, which I've talked about in other videos, and that's the truth, it's really ever. So I think that's gonna wrap this one up. If I do have any irritation while I'm sitting watching TV and having this up, I will definitely post a picture of it here. So, um, but yeah. So that is gonna basically wrap up my birthday shave using my vintage V2, second quarter of 1975, 109 Black Beauty, Gillette, very cool, find them on eBay, Amazon, get lucky, find them in an antique store, this one I think I probably paid about 45 bucks, don't want for Canadian and US for that. Given the Talon and Steel merchandise Cephanex a try. That's tallow based. Matching aftershave splash, uh, witch hazel based, and the new Phoenix Harvison Pellegrino, which I will discuss in another video. This is friggin' awesome. Uh, this is going to be one of my new favorites, I think, and get a lot of use. So, anyway, guys, we're still dealing with the pandemic, so I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. Thanks for taking the time to watch my channel. I appreciate it. Your feedback, good, bad, indifferent. Please feel free to leave it down below. Um, if you get a chance to watch this video, if I get a chance to post it before the draw date of my giveaway, hope you take a chance to or take the time to enter that. Very easy to do. Details in the video description or in the video link. So anyway, thanks again, guys. We'll see you in a few days.